Okay, problem number one. Problem number one says the function, this is problem number one on the uh, short answer, so not multiple choice anymore. It says the function f is defined as f of x equals 6x to the fourth plus x to the third plus 4x squared plus x minus 2. Use the remainder theorem. Determine if 1 half is a root of f of x. Explain. Okay, so with determining roots, the, the root is just basically wherever the output is 0, so wherever f of x equals 0. So it's a root if this whole thing outputs to be equal to 0. So what our remainder theorem says basically is if we plug in this value, we won't get any remainder out. The output will just be 0. So let's just test that out. Let's plug in 1 half, and if it comes out to 0, then we know it is a root. So if we were to plug in 6 to the 1 half plus 1 half to the third plus 4 to the 1 half squared plus 1 half minus 2. If this all comes out to 0, then we know that 1 half is a root. Okay? And instead of plugging in 1 half, I'm just going to plug in 0.5. Those would mean the same thing, just easier for me to type. Okay, so just plugging that in, 0.5 to the third, plus 4 times 0.5 to the second, plus 0.5 minus 2, 4 times 0.5 to the second, plus 0.5 minus 2, okay. And this indeed equals zero. So yes, I just proved then that one half is a deed a root, or 0.5 is a root. Okay, so and to explain your answer here, just say something effective what I said when we opened up what it means to be a root and how you can use your remainder theorem. Okay, so if i is also root, what are the other two roots? Okay, so if i is also root, what are the other two roots? So if we know i is, remember i is just, and I'll just erase this now because we did the first part. So we said yes, one half was a root. So right now we know, okay, roots are, we've got 0.5, and they're saying if i is also root, so let's add that. If i is also root, what are the other two roots? So i, remember, is just, means the square root of negative 1. So if we have the square root of negative 1 as a root, that means we're also going to have to have um, negative i is going to have to be a root, which is equal to the, you know, minus of the square root of negative 1. If you're wondering why that is, um, remember that whenever we take the square root of something, you had to do plus or minus of the square root of that. That's why we end up getting, if you have one root with a uh, square root on it, you're going to have to have, end up having two. Um, just an example. So the way that you get to i in the first place is you have x squared um, equals negative 1, and then you take the square root of both sides to cancel out these, you get x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 1. So that's why we get 2 roots. So square root of negative 1 is just i, and this would be a plus, this would be minus. So we get a plus i or a minus i. This could also be written as plus the square root of negative 1 or minus the square root of negative 1. These mean the same thing, but that's why you end up getting two roots whenever you have, if you have, if you know you have one imaginary root, that means you're going to have to have two. So that's, one of our roots will be negative i, for the reason I just, we just said. Okay, uh, and now, roots, a really good way to solve for roots also is just to use your calculator and just see where it crosses our x-axis. So, go into y equals, plug in our function go to graph, and we can see that first root we have is that one half. If we were to go calculate that zero and calculate, that's going to come up as being that one half root. So right there, x equals 0.5, that's that first root that they mentioned. So we want to find out what's this other root. So we can just do second calc zero, okay, left bound, right bound, enter, and it takes us to that point, negative point six 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 six. 
So negative 0.66 forever, or that's also the same as negative 2 thirds. Um, and you can do, you, for finding that uh, root, this is I think an easier way of doing this graphically. There's a longer algebraic way of doing this also. But I think this, algebra, this um, graphical way works better. Okay.